so yeah, about the Aleppo Codex. So, so one of the jobs I had working for my master's degree was uh, as a research assistant. And I had a stack of photographs on one side. And I was studying, and those were photographs of the Aleppo Codex, one-to-one. -one. And the other side was a printed Bible. And I had to check every jot and tittle to make sure what was in the Codex, the, printed, the, the handwritten Bible from the year 924 AD, it's considered the most accurate copy of the Bible in existence. And it was uh, copied by the master scribe Aaron ben Asher. And in the 12th century, Maimonides mentions this particular manuscript, this exact codex, and he describes how people would come from the entire Jewish world to check their Bibles. If you wrote a Bible in uh, Yemen or if you wrote a Bible in Spain and you wanted to make sure it was accurate, you got on a boat and you went to Jerusalem and later to Egypt and you checked your Bible against the Aleppo Codex. It, later it was in Aleppo. Originally it was called the uh, Ben Asher Codex. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and so even in ancient times, this was known to be the most accurate co copy of the Bible in existence. And I had the privilege, um, you know, and certainly I think at the time, the people around me didn't see it as a privilege. It was kind of, it was grunt work, <laughs> you know. I'm sitting there checking every dot and every dash. And, you know, it requires a certain amount of expertise. But beyond that, it's kind of very technical work. You know, is the and you weren't the first in line. I mean, you followed oh, no. other it, editors what right, before right. you. I was, and checking I was their work. I was like the third reader, so I would sometimes sit there for eight hours checking every dot. Not just that the dot was there, but then it was in the right place relative to the manuscript in the printed mm -hmm. edition. And sometimes I'd sit there for eight hours and not find a mistake. Like you know, you go bonkers <laughs> looking at this sea of dots and dashes and and scribbles. You know, swiggles like you know, there's there's four sets of symbols on every page. And, um, I mean, it's such a complex system that Microsoft tried to create a font in which they put every symbol in its exact place, and, which they had done for Chinese and for Japanese, and they determined in the end that biblical Hebrew is too complex. And that's with 20,000 words in the Chinese language, right. and biblical Hebrew is too complex. Well, biblical Hebrew is 22 characters, and then it has, depending how you count them, let's say about 13 or 14 vowel symbols, and then you have... Um, you know, you have, I don't know, a couple dozen accents. So the math is, you know, you do like 24 times 24 times 22. Uh, so you get right. to some huge number mm -hmm. that they said, you know, look, our, we're, we're a base. I don't know what the you know, math is, but it goes to like 64,000 or something. They're like, there's too many characters here. So we can't, there's too, there's too many combinations of characters. It has to be done by hand. It can't be done mm -hmm. programmatically. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my job to make sure everything was, had to be done by hand. There's no other way to do it. Make sure it was all in place.